Hey guys, how are you? All right, so here is something that I saw or was inspired to do by a social media post who, I can't remember who it was from, to be honest. It was somebody, I think on Facebook, who was making little fabric labels for their journals, and all of them said journal. And they were printed on, the word was printed on a little piece of ribbon, and it was layered on a bunch of fabrics and sewn together. I thought that was so cute. And it inspired me to do sort of my version of that. So I remembered I had this in my stash of stuff. And it is fabric um, that has been adhered to uh, backing paper and cut to size so it can run through your printer. Now you can make this kind of thing yourself. I've done it in the past with good success actually. Um, you can iron uh, thin muslin or cotton to freezer paper. You wanna get the kind that's got the plastic coating on one side iron the fabric to the plastic side and then cut it to eight and a half by 11 so it fits in your printer and then print on the fabric um, when you pull it out you'll get something that looks just like this it looks exactly the same only it's a lot cheaper this is kind of pricey i will link it in the description below but it's not super cheap um, and i just had it forever and um, it has a backing paper on it now the ink is not going to be waterproof, waterproof. it's going to be water soluble because it's an inkjet printer. So I know I've done quilts with this in the past and printed photos on this and you want to, um, we'll keep it away from water if you can, but um, also uh, I would spray it with a number of layers of some kind of protective spray, whether it's workable fixative or some other kind of spray. Um, I know I did it with the photos, I sprayed them, I don't know, five or six coatings and let them dry and they're still to this day looking pretty good. Um, they haven't faded or anything, but they haven't gotten wet either. Um, and so anyway, I printed up sheets of words. Now these word um, sheets are from my Etsy shop and they're intended to be printed on Avery labels. I have a number of different ones in my shop. I'll try to link them in the also in the description below. And I thought, you know, what if I print some of my word downloads on fabric instead of on sticker sheets? and then make um, little labels that I can use on my journal pages or on journal covers and other mixed media projects. That's a really great idea. So I've been cutting the sheets apart. I cut them into strips and then I cut the strips into individual words. I leave the paper backing on, I'm not taking it off. And um, so I'm gonna finish cutting these and then I'll show you what I come up with as far as creating a little sort of word label thing with it. So I have my scrap box, which is what this is, which is kind of overflowing. I need to use what's in it or, yeah, anyway. Um, I cut all my words out, so now I have a jar of words out of fabric. And I picked a few out as I was cutting that I want to work with. I've got this strip of fabric, uh, a couple of them, which are left over from making my fabric journal cover um, that I made in a previous video. I'll link in the description below. Um, I, I should say previous vlog. It was actually featured in a vlog. I'll link the vlog in the description below, but this is how it turned out. And these are the scraps from said leftover, from said journal cover, leftover scraps. So I thought I would use these. And this is a piece of uh, leftover, one of the laces I used on that. So what I wanna do is I wanna get just sort of an approximate, I'm just gonna whack off some pieces. I've got one, two, three, I've got six of these little word words. So let's get six of these. Six, okay. Then we're gonna cut some pieces of this lace here. Um, I think I'm gonna cut it, I want it to be shorter, so I think I'm gonna just cut it down the middle. Just whack off some pieces. Again, we need six. They don't need to be straight, they don't need to be even, or even all the same size, just approximately. This is a fabric collage, so, um, you just want to layer different things on top of each other. Maybe you want to stick a piece of painting paper on here. I lost track. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, one more. 
<laughs> lost, lost track there. Okay, so then the other thing I want to do is I've got some burlap trim here. And if I take the burlap trim and I layer this, <clears throat> and then I layer one of these, and then I layer the word on top of that. That is a good look. I like that. So I want to cut six pieces of burlap. That there, that there, that there. Okay. I'm going to tuck my sweater strings in because I have this feeling I'm going to chop them off by accident if I don't. They keep getting in the way. Two. Three. Now you could um, use whatever you have, trims, ribbons. Um, if you don't have any of that, go to the craft store. You can get burlap, uh, ribbon and trim in different sizes in the floral department. Um, you can get different fabrics at the fabric store. Go to the sale bin, just ask them to cut you like an eighth of a yard or whatever the smallest amount that they'll cut for you. Um, you don't need a ton. Uh, maybe cut up some old clothes you're not wearing anymore or um, go thrifting, get, look around. I've been collecting fabric a long time, so anyway. I'm going to um, peel my papers off of the back of the words now and probably put my reading glasses on so I can do that. And we're going to move to the sewing machine and I'll be right back. Get, oops, where are we? Where are we? There we are. Focus. There we go. You just need to get a good grip on it, and once you do... I'll peel, peel right off. Now you might want to peel it off before you cut your words out. I didn't want to do that because I knew it was going to fray like this. Um, and I don't mind the fray, fraying, but I want to keep it at minimum so you can still see the word. So anyway, all right, I'm going to peel the rest of them off and we're going to go to the machine. I'll be right okay, back. I went and um, did a little um, searching on social media and um, the po original post that inspired me was over in the Facebook group, Random Remains Revived. Um, and the person who posted it, her name is Viv Cheeseman. And um, yeah, very, very inspiring. So here I'm going to just sort of clip. I'm going to just roughly clip my different elements together. I'm not going to pin anything. I'm just going to use these fabric clips to sort of make them into bundles. So I don't, mainly just so I don't lose anything. I need to turn the machine on. Um, I decided to add this plastic netting. This is from, um, I saved this plastic netting. You get in it from a lot of different products. And sometimes when you buy produce, uh, but also when you buy things like Baby Bell cheese. So I save it. Each product has sort of a different color. And I use it a lot in, in mixed media applications. I know that's weird for some of you, but the rest of you are like, oh yeah, good idea. Oh, I do that. <laughs> I know, I know you're out there somewhere. Okay. So I've done something in the past, um, especially as part of my creative year, um, which is a Facebook group I teach in. Um, when it first started back in 2017, we did um, a few different projects. One of the things I did was called Halfway Art, where I layered a bunch of different things on top of each other and made sort of a mixed media embellishment that could be added to a journal cover or a collage or a page. But this isn't that different. Now this one might be challenging because this trim here has pearls on it and it tends to want to break my sewing machine needle, so we'll see but it adds an interesting texture, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so I wanna use a really small stitch length 
So I'm going to switch it to number two. I'm going to use a straight stitch. And then we're going to just take our bundle and we're going to layer our pieces on top of one another and start sewing. You hear the guy coming up the stairs? It's my husband. He's working from home today. And actually, I think that what I'm going to do is sew these three pieces together, then add the other two. I think that will be easier. Sorry, he had mail for me. All right, so I'm going to just start at one end, and I'm going to go back and forth at the beginning to lock the stitches. When I get to the corner, I'm going to stop with the needle down, lift up the presser foot, turn the whole piece down the other end. Slow down over those, those beads. And then the short side. I think this is the only one with this trim on it, thank goodness. That went a little too far, so let's go back a couple of stitches. Now we're going to take our little piece of other lace and some and the words and just kind of eyeball it and center it. Yeah. I'm going to lift my needle up and slide my fabric over. I'm not going to cut the threads. do the same thing and just going to sew around the little piece of fabric that has the words on it. Trim everything, and there we have that. How cute is that? Okay, aren't these cute? So we have this one that says, Beautiful Mess. Just breathe. Choose your path. Inspire. Stay true to you. And life is an adventure. I love these. These are great. And I can see these on the covers of journals and notebooks. Um, maybe some of my finished sketchbooks um, on journal pages. They're really super cool. So, and again, you could use painty papers in here and stitch it down. Uh, you could use um, cardboard. The possibilities really are endless. They are like little mini pieces of halfway art. So um, they're embellishments, homemade embellishments that you aren't going to find anywhere else. They're going to be unique to you and how you made them. So I, yeah, they're, they're super cool. So I would love to see what you can do with that. And the other thing too is they don't require any special sewing skills. Um, it's all straight stitches. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you could definitely stitch it by hand. Um, the one thing you don't want to do with the words because the ink is water soluble is use any wet medium to glue it down. Um, so um, that I wouldn't do. But what you could do if stitching is just not something you want to do at all, staples. Staples people. In fact, I might add some staples to these just because. Hang on. Alright, so I love the look of staples and that sort of industrial um, look to lots of artwork. So you definitely could staple your bits together or you could just do like I want to do and I want to just add a couple of staples here and there. Because how cute is that? So anyway, think about what you can do, experiment, give it a shot, and I would love to see what you do with it. Um, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.